Okay, so lesson 4.6 for 930. Uh, we're going to look at those fractional exponents like we did yesterday again, but today we're going to talk about what does a fractional exponent actually mean? We don't usually use fractional exponents. In fact, I'm pretty sure you guys have never seen a fractional exponent before. So today we're going to talk about what does it mean? And it's really interesting because a fractional exponent actually is a radical, a square root, or a different kind of root. Okay, so that's what we're going to jump into right away. Now, I don't have a warm up for you because, uh, you know, like this is just kind of a little bit different. So we're just going to make sure uh, that we're going to jump right in and make sure that you're really understanding what fractional exponents are all about. So the general rule here for a fractional exponent is that a number raised to the power of one over n, so one nth, right? A fraction where n is the denominator is equal to the nth root of that number. And you can see that right down here in this box, right? If b was raised to the 1 over n power, then that would be the nth root of b, OK? Now, that's a little bit hard to just wrap your brain around with just all those variables. So over here on the right, I gave you some examples, right? So for example, if b was raised to the 1 half power, that would be the square root of b. Remember, a square root is like kind of an invisible. And remember what a square root means. It means what number times itself two times equals b. So you can kind of see where that 1 half comes from, right? So b to the 1 half power, where you're kind of like multiplying it times itself, one of the two times, that's the number that I want, right? So which is what number times itself two times equals b, that number inside. And so it's 1 to the 1 half power. So b to the 1 third power is what number times itself three times gives me b, or the third root of b. So the third root really means what number times itself three times equals b. So the third root is what number times itself three times. So b to the one third power means I want one of those th of those three, right? The three things that you have to multiply by itself, I want one of those. That's b to the one third power. Hopefully you're kind of understanding the connection here. So you get the idea, right? b to the one fourth power is really what number times itself four times equals b. That's what the fourth root of b would mean, or b to the one fourth power. Okay, so here's some number. So here's some examples down here with actual numbers. So like twenty five to the one half power is really the square root of twenty five. What number times itself get two times gives you twenty five. 5 times 5 gives you 25. I want 1 half power, so I'm going to take one of those, right? And that's how I get the square root of 25 is 5. So 25 to the 1 half power is 5. Here I have 8 to the 1 third power. So what number times itself 3 times gives you 8? 2 times 2 times 2 gives you 8. 2, 4, 8, right? And I want one third, the one third power. So what number times itself three times? I want one of these. That's how I get my th third root of eight is two, or eight to the one third power is two. So that's the idea of what these fractional exponents are all about. So here's a little practice for you. I bet, you know, maybe at this point you could pause your video and take a shot at it. Let's try it out. So 16 to the one fourth power. Remember that denominator, that's the root. So this would be the fourth root of 16. And yes, you need to show this step. You need to show where you're saying what root it is. So in your head, you're thinking, what number times itself four times equals 16? That's what the fourth root of 16 is. Now, you don't have to write those words, but that's what you're thinking in your head. What number times itself four times gives me 16? Two times two times two times two. Two, four, eight, 16. Two is the fourth root of 16. Two times itself four times gives me 16. So the fourth root of 16 equals two. 
So my final answer there is two. All right, so number two then, the 125 to the one-third power. So one-third power means I want the third root of 125. What number times itself three times gives me 125? Five times five is 25, times five is 125. So five is the third root of 125. Now, I know that you really have to know your multiplication facts to get these that quickly. I've been doing them a long time. You know, you can get your calculator out and test them out a little bit. Um, you, you know, normally I would show you how to use your calculator, but it's a little bit hard to show that because everybody has a different calculator right now. Uh, but just start testing, and I'll give you a hint. We're not going to give you huge numbers, right? So tr start small, right? What's two times two times two? What's three times three times three? You know, things like that. As long as you understand understand what a third root means and what a fourth root means, it won't take you too long to get to those answers. Okay, so let's go the other way then. What if I give you the root? Can you write it with the fractional exponent? So this is the square root of 81, right? Square root. That means what times itself? Two times. Or there's really that invisible two out here that we don't always write. So this is the same thing as saying 81 to the 1 half power. And that's all you have to do. That's all that I'm asking, right, is rewrite it with a fractional exponent. Now, if you wanted to, you could say, okay, well, I know what the square root of 81 is. The square root of 81 is 9. But really, I want you to make sure that you can write that with a fractional exponent. All right, so same thing over here. The fourth root of 625. All right, well, the, what times itself four times? What times itself four times gives me 625? So if I was going to write that with a fractional exponent, it'd be 625 to the one-fourth power. If you really wanted to figure that out, that would be five, right? Five times itself four times. Five, 25, 125. 125 times five is 625. But what I want you to do is write it with the fractional exponent. Just understand that conversion between a radical and a fractional exponent. Okay, hopefully you're feeling pretty confident with those. So the next part of this then is, what if the numerator is not a one? So far we've been talking about one-fourth, one-third, one-fifth, right? What if the numerator is not a one? So here I have just kind of an example written out for you with letters, but sometimes it's uh, it's a little bit easier to kind of see it with some numbers. So let's say let's say that I have the fractional exponent two thirds, right? What does that mean? All right. Well, I know that the denominator is the root. What we've been doing so far is we understand. I understand what x to the one third power is, right? Well. 2 thirds, x to the 2 thirds is really x to the 1 third times 2, right? 2 thirds equals 1 third times 2. Well, what would this have to look like if I was going to multiply exponents? That would be a power to a power. When I have a power to a power, I multiply. So 1 third times 2, 2 times 1 third, that gives me 2 thirds, right? So I could really say that x to the 2 thirds power is really the same thing as x to the 1 third power all raised to the second. Well, I know what, how to write x to the 1 third with a root. That's really the third root of x. So the third root of x to the second. That's what x to the 2 thirds is. x to the 2 thirds is the third root of x, right? The denominator is the root, and the numerator will become an exponent outside of parentheses. So if I had x to the 4 thirds power, the denominator is the root, so this part is going to stay as x, the third root of x down here, right? And then the exponent, or excuse me, the numerator is going to become an exponent outside of parentheses. Because, and, and you know, I usually write that middle step. X to the four thirds is really the same thing as X to the one third 
to the fourth power, right? One third times four. Now you could flip flop the spots. You could say x to the four thirds is the same thing as x to the fourth raised to the one third power. So that means that I would have the third root of x to the fourth, that works too, but then you have to have this huge number, x to the fourth, uh, you know, unless it's a two in there, that's gonna be a huge number, and then to take the third root. It's okay, it's, a, it's correct, but it would be a lot of work, so we don't usually do this. Mm. Correct, but too much work. Okay, so this is really how we want to think about it. When I have uh, a fractional exponent, the denominator is the root, and the numerator becomes an exponent outside of parentheses. All right, so let's give it a shot here. So 8 to the 4 thirds power. 8 to the 4 thirds power is really like 8 to the 1 third power raised to the fourth, right? Or in other words, I know what eight to the one third is. This is the third root of eight. So there's my, my denominator is my root. And the whole thing is raised to the fourth power. My numerator is my exponent. But now I can actually do it. I have a number in here. What is the third root of eight? What times itself three times gives me eight? Two, four, eight. Two times itself three times gives me eight. So now I have two to the fourth power. Two to the fourth power, two, four, eight, 16. So my final answer is 16. So eight to the four thirds power equals 16, but that's the work that you need to show, right? You need to show how you take that denominator and turn it into a root, and then you have the exponent outside of parentheses. Do the root first, and then apply the exponent after that. So here we go with number two, 25 to the three halves power. So I start with my denominator as my root, so I have the square root of 25. My numerator is my exponent outside of parentheses, so this whole thing is raised to the third power. Then I work on the inside, do my root first. Square root of 25 is five, and I still am raised to the third power. And then I say, okay, what is five to the third power? Five times five is 25, times five is 125 for my final answer. All right, two more to do just to make sure you practice. Maybe at this point you wanna pause your video and see if you can do it on your own. One to the three halves power. So again, that denominator is my root. I have the fifth root of one. My numerator is my exponent. The whole thing is raised to the third power. All right, what is one to the fifth root of one? What times itself five times gives me one? Mm, one. <laughs> so I have one to the third power now. One to the third power equals one. <laughs> Hopefully that one was an easy way to just kind of wrap your brain around the converting without having to worry about doing all that multiplying. Last one, 1,000 to the 4 thirds power. All right, the denominator is the root, so I have the third root of 1,000. And the numerator is the exponent. So the whole thing is raised to the fourth power. I do the root first. What times itself three times gives me 1,000? 10 times 10 times 10, right? 10 to the third equals 1,000. All right, so I did my root, so I still have this exponent outside. So now I have 10 to the fourth power. 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 gives me 10,000, right? Four zeros going on when I do 10 to the fourth power. All right, hopefully you're getting more confident in how you convert uh, between those fractional exponents and radicals. So just remember to rewrite each exponent using numerator as your exponent and denominator as your root, and then simplify after that. You can do it.